Well, BJ's Michigan, <laughs> BJ's Wholesale Club also supports Uniquely Detroit and the stories that help shape and define our city. That's right. For decades, the top performers in the world have been coming here, and there's one venue that has hosted more performances than any other in the city. Photojournalist Alex Atwell shares the Uniquely Detroit story and 90 years of history at the Music Hall. As a theater town, we create here and then we export. In essence, Detroit has impact on the world's culture. Hi, I'm Vince Paul. I'm the President and Artistic Director of the Music Hall Center for the Performing Arts. We are in the main hall, and this floor is actually curved. These are polycyndrical mahogany walls that reflect the sound. So remember, 1928, we didn't have amplified sound. You can hear everything from the stage into that balcony as if you were standing right next to it. That's magical. See, that's very difficult architecture right there. You know, Detroit has contributed more performing artists and world renowned than any community in history. And by going to the fifth floor, you're going to see 90 years of performances here at the Music Hall. More performing artists of world renowned have performed here than any theater in America. Because it's one of the only theaters in America that's operated for 90 continuous years. So in this section of the gallery, you're going to find artifacts from, say, this conductor's podium. Can you imagine? Eugene Ormandy literally stood on that exact podium. And for 10 years, America listened to the fourth Sunday evening hour that was broadcast from the music hall. It literally saw America through World War II. Well, you can't be surprised that, that you're gonna see Fred and Adele Astaire, <laughs> you know? Yes, Fred Astaire was here. Cab Calloway's and Count Basie's from, you know, Shaka Khan to uh, Diana Ross. This is actually an original makeup room table that we pulled and we brought up into the gallery. You can see it's actually Billie Holiday in course room B. <laughs> so we actually have a photograph of her physically in the hall. <laughs> It's just unbelievable, you know? Even this over here, that's the Walt Disney Studios um, actually installing the very first surround sound system. You know, you have to remember Detroit has been, is today, an entertainment capital of the world. And so it, it's not crazy that the, the, the Walt Disney Studios would come and install their very first surround sound and premiere Fantasia, for example. From the moment you put your hand on the door, and you come inside, you know you're in the music hall. There's only one. <laughs> the Archive Gallery articulates how important art and performing arts are to Detroit's culture. I think it reinforces the idea that we need to keep this going, if not for ourselves, certainly for the expectations of the world audience.